There are all sorts of fun ways you can get your kids involved in celebrating America's independence. Parades, fireworks, crafts. Ah, uh, crafts. That's the one we're going to do right now. We've got Jody Levine here to show us some amazing craft projects from Martha Stewart's favorite crafts for kids. And Jody, this is, looks like a very fun spread. It is. It's all ideas from our newest book that we're really excited about. And now it's summer vacation, so it's perfect timing. And these are great for July 4th or any time during summer vacation. Yeah, we got to keep the kids cute. occupied during yeah. summer. I know, red, yeah. white, and blue. So I have some favors. That's the first thing I want to show you. And I'm going to show you how to make it. It's a printable craft that's in the book, so half the work is done for you once you print it out. You cut out these pieces. You can use decorative paper that you have around the house. All right. And then you just take some double stick tape and tape a little bit of crepe paper to the paper, like we did here, a little bit more tape. You roll it up, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to take some twine. Oh, gonna... So this is kind of like our little rocket uh, our yes. little firework, I guess. Exactly. And firework, this is great. Safe. You print it out right here on this right little piece of paper, yeah. and there are different decorations that you or different patterns rather. Exactly. And then it's the half the work is done for you. Right. And then you have these cute favors for a party. At the end of the party, the kids have something to take home. Oh, and oh you put the candy inside. Candy inside, so it's a nice little surprise for them. And obviously much safer than real fireworks. <laughs> right? We'd rather no yes. have an explosion <laughs> of candy. I was candy. thinking of my son a Zippo lighter for the fourth. I guess this is a better <laughs> idea. So then you just put a little bit of hot glue around the edge. And you can use white glue, but hot glue is really fast and really strong. I love my hot glue gun. If you're serious right? about crafting, you must own a hot glue gun, right? And then you gun, just right? pop yeah, that on absolutely. the top? Yeah, absolutely. Uh-huh. Oh, look at that. And then yeah. it takes like two seconds well, and it's ready to go. Too easy. So should we try it? Yeah. yeah. How does okay. this work? Oh, yeah. That's, that's the kind of explosion like you want, hand right? Hand it's like it. a handheld pinata. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, so we have our party favors. I really want to know about the game dinners. Is this checkers? What are this we playing? This is checkers. My boys love playing board games, and some are I'm looking forward to a little more time with them. This is using stuff that you can find or stuff you have around the house. These placemats you can get at any home store, and they roll up really nicely. We made our own checkerboard, and we printed the checkerboard using one of my kids' blocks. Oh. You can use an eraser or anything. You just but spread you just out some plate. Yeah, spread out some paint on a paper plate, dip it in, and stamp it. Oh wow! You could even like pencil out the design first if you want to, just and then just sure. get them collecting rocks. Like if you take this to the beach, part of the fun is collecting the rocks. You need twelve light color rocks, twelve dark color rocks, and then you're all set. You could do the same for a set of dominoes. Which I actually laughed when I put this. <laughs> when I, so great. Because I thought, oh my gosh, that is so isn't genius. it cute? And then if you <laughs> lose one, no big deal. So then you can out the <laughs> outside to find so another I go rock. To the beach. I want to play dominoes. Exactly. So then you just take a paint pen and you're drawing on it. It, that is so yeah. cool. Fantastic. And I love how easy it is to find the materials. Let's uh, let's do our own screen printing here. Yes, exactly. Even easier. You know that old-fashioned craft of potato printing? We have a little bit of a twist. We use cookie cutters. We slice potatoes the long way, so we got a skinny piece. Okay. And actually, you can use this as is. Dip it in paint, just like you did with the block. Mm -hmm. And then that is how I That's made the, the petals. That's the petals for the flower right here. I don't know if you guys so can see that. So how easy is that? Wow. Listen, people are always looking. Even me, I don't have any kids, but I have nieces and nephews. Right. Always looking for stuff to keep them entertained because they're so used to playing games. They're right. not really. It's almost like doing crafts is Absolutely. a dying art. So right. it's so nice to see you make it easy. And you want to keep them off the screens yeah. if you can. Before we run out of time, let's okay. just take one quick look at the flip-flops. Yeah, dress them awesome. up for July 4th with some stuff from the, part, the craft supply store. These stars, you can get at right. any craft supply store. They actually peel and stick. Oh, uh -huh. Or wow. like most kids, my kids have like bins and bins of plastic animals, you can glue those on with some strong contact Oh, cement. that's a toy out of the toy that box? Yes. That is fantastic. I'm going to put that, that one on there. That is too cute. That is so good. Hey, you can find instructions and more great ideas in Martha Stewart's Favorite Craft for Kids.